Okay, so first thing we're going to do is take a look at the drawing tools on the far right side, the properties in the library, alignment, and the layers, as long as the, as well as the timeline. And we're going to do a drawing demo, first lab. And you don't have to, but you can if you're not a great artist and you want to just import something to the stage to work from and go to your file selection file import to stage and select your file and in this one I have the grass sky background now my files my image size is very large compared to the size of the stage it's about 1200 by 800 as you can see so I'm going to zoom back in and that's under property size and position now this is the properties of the size of the stage, 550 by 400. What I'm going to do is resize the image to 550 by 400. And now, as you can see, it's fit perfectly on the stage. Now, what, if, you, if yours is not aligned properly, select the line, align to stage, the checkbox, align horizontal, center and then the line vertical center and you should be all set to go there let's fit it to the window and now you have your background image centered and proper size we're going to convert this to a symbol normally you're going to name it uh, the graphic symbol it's under type graphic so it would be gr underscore background but in this case I simply forgot to name the symbol properly. Uh, go to properties and what we're going to do first is change the color and effect and we're going to scroll down to alpha. What this does is it creates a transparency. I'm going to make mine 50 percent and then you can see you have a transparent background with your image. Rename the layer Layers are extremely important to keep your file organized. I'm going to name this background because it's going to be my background. I'm going to lock it so this way I can't make any adjustments to it without unlocking it. Any unwanted adjustments. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to start showing you some of these tools. Uh, the first one I'll show you is the pen tool. So select the pen tool, change the color to what you want. In this case, you only need to do the, the little pencil color, which is usually just the outline color, and that's the fill color, the one with the paint bucket. And you're going to go ahead and start tracing your image, whichever image you choose. You can choose anything. In this one, I just chose blades of grass with a uh, cloudy background. I'm keeping this really thin. I'm just clicking away and just doing the outline of a uh, small thin blade of grass. I'm going to close it. You'll see a little circle pop up. Click it and now it's closed. And Now you can fill it with the paint tool, the paint bucket tool. And just click in it. And there, there's my first blade of grass. I'm going to select the selection tool and just show you that you can you can manipulate it however way you want. You can copy paste it, reuse it, what have you. Let's go ahead and show you the line tool. And you can do the same thing. You can copy paste and reuse images as you see fit. Um, this is the line tool. Just click, drag and hold, and then release when you have the proper distance you want. I'm going to raise the stroke a bit just to give it a little bit more thickness. And as you can see, it's five times the size of the previous line I just drew. Now, this is the properties box where you can adjust anything for all tools, images, and what have you. This is just a style. You can change it to what you need. I just needed a solid line for my blades of grass. Um, the rectangle tool, but the shape tool. It has all different shapes in it. So you, I'm going to select the oval tool and select a, a white color and to do the clouds. So. There, there's my fill color and just click drag and 
release and you'll have your cloud or oval what whatever you want to do just to give you a short demo on what these tools do and how to use them you're going to want to do some experimenting yourself playing around with other tools symbols but we'll get to that um, next thing we're going to do is as you can see I made a mistake I have my layers my grass layer and my clouds all on one layer I don't like that so I'm going to select the selection tool I'm going to highlight my grass and I'm just going to press delete I mean I could keep it but I want to show you other ways to uh, create these blades of grass and show you other demos on other tools so I'm going to rename this layer clouds now and I'm going to go ahead and bottom left corner create new layer this one will be sky and what I'm going to do here I'm going to drag it behind the clouds underneath and this will give it the illusion that it's behind it um, that's how the hierarchy works in the layers from top to bottom on visibility so the top layer would show first oh, um, overlap everything else and so on and so forth for the second layer third layer etc so I'm going to select the sky blue color here and change the size change the zoom I'm going to make it a little bit larger than the stage to make sure when I present it that there's no um, just no color I just want it to entirely be completely filled so the pencil tool now the pencil tool for this particular part isn't the greatest tool to use and you'll see why oh, and I didn't create a new layer and it's good that I locked it if you go too far ahead you're going to hit control Z and it only goes so back so far and then you'll realize that you made a big mistake and you, there's ways to go fix it but we'll get to that later uh, just the stroke of my pencil make it a little bit thicker for these blades of grass and this is simply freehand just click and hold and then just draw to where you want it it, it appears really jagged so I just controlled Z those and I, I don't like the way they're looking see how that's kind of got a it's, it's almost like two separate lines that have been put together it's very linear it's, it's just not what you might want to use but we'll get into that so we got our colors we're going to change the color to give it some depth we're going to draw this the, the darker color is more or less for shadow to, to make it appear that some of these blades of grass have some shadow and we'll select another color and we'll just do another one so as you can see they're kind of jagged. They're they're not really wavy as the original images. So get a closer look at it. So we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna grab the eraser tool. I'm erasing the outer ones to see just how jagged they really are, and I don't like it. There's there's definitely more efficient, better way to do this. So I'm going to erase it entirely with the eraser tool. You could just grab the selection tool, highlight it all, and press delete, and they'll be deleted. But I'm going to go ahead and use the brush tool. And adjust my zoom. Fit in the window. Change my color. And this gives it a much better curvature line as you can tell the other one was really jagged linear looking and didn't have the right feel to it but this has much more of a wavier curvature look to it and it appears much more natural which is what we're going for so we're going to go ahead and change the color and we'll go with the darker green 
I always like to keep those both the same. You don't have to. It's just preference when I start going to other tools and I s tend to forget sometimes that uh, they're opposite colors and then I have to go back and change it anyway. So, so I'm just doing some blades of grass here. I'm going to select another color. Now I'm looking for a shadow color. I was leaning towards the dark purple for that, but it didn't seem to have the appropriate lighting that I was looking for, so I'm going to go with more of a dark blue. And then, let me just go ahead. You can go trace right outside the outside of it and make it appear like one side's lit, one side's bright from the sun. Um, just like that. And then, just go ahead. And you can do this. You can use these same tools on any image. You don't have to use a grass background. You can use whatever image you want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight all. I'm going to zoom out a little bit to make sure I selected everything that I want on my grass layer. Then I'm going to right click, convert to symbol. Now naming conventions is extremely important. You definitely don't want to go ahead and just name this grass as I am showing you. You don't, do not want to do that for future projects and you'll see why eventually. Uh, it's a type. The type is a graphic, so I'm going to name it lowercase gr underscore grass and hit OK. So now I have my symbol. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to use the spray brush tool. And you need to convert it to a symbol. To What you're doing is you're creating a brush for your symbol with a graphic symbol. So go ahead and select spray brush. Now your spray brush symbol. It says no symbol. You're going to select one. See, I didn't no name my background GR background, but I'm going to select GR grass. I'm going to create a new layer. Just in case I don't like it, it'll be easy, easily deleted and manipulated if needed. So I'll name this spray grass. And it's a little funky to get used to. Um, it kind of randomizes it, so you won't get like, it's not going to just spray perfectly straight grass like that. So, it's still a little funky. I'll go ahead again. Nope. There we go. So, it's creating this grass. And there you go. Now I've just quickly, very quickly, created a bunch of grass without going over and tracing every single individual blade of grass. It makes, makes it much quicker, much more efficient work time. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's presented so you don't see all that other stuff in the backstage. The, so you just see that. And that's the beginning of uh, the drawing tools. Um, I encourage you to experiment with all tools that you want. And anything that seems to work best for you. Um, do any image you want. You can do a character, what have you. And just play around and experiment with these tools. Get get comfortable. I'm going to just mess around. You can you don't have to trace exactly the image you're doing. You can get creative. I'm going to try and do some kind of silly lightning bolt. There's a little stream from a, an airplane or a jet airplane. And I'm just going to make it a silly little lightning lightning bolt. Um, but definitely feel free to make mistakes, uh, spend about 90 minutes on this lab, and get comfortable with the tools, and that's really about it, just, uh, have fun, make sure, uh, make sure you're putting everything on separate layers, and everything, uh, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to email me, call me, text me, and, uh, yeah, so there's my image. Control Enter is the presentation. It exports it as a Swift. But uh, yeah, spent about 90 minutes on this, and that's Lab 1.